Hello and greetings, everybody. This is Master Sio coming to you from the Ohio Center for Spiritual Living in Pasadena, California. Thank you for joining us for our meditation. Today we'll talk about nitric oxide, a molecule found naturally in the human body, but the lack of which can lead to some very horrible consequences with our health. If you can please either close your eyes or just follow along with me by exhaling as much as you can. And try to hold your breath. And then inhale as much as you can. Try to breathe through using your diaphragm, which is located kind of below your uh, sternum or your rib cage. So you breathe in and your stomach expands. When you exhale, your stomach should compress like the belly button going back toward your backbone. In and out. In and out. In and out. Now add observing your breathing through your mind. Observing as you inhale, your mind focuses on the air going into your nose, like so. And when you exhale, you also focus your mind on the exhalation as if you see a stream of air coming out. Exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. The purpose of this uh, small exercise is to make you more aware that proper breathing really matters and the size of your breath matters also. Nitric oxide is a molecule that is manufactured in the cells of the human body and there are many sources that of nutrition or the air that can enhance the production of this vital molecule in your body. I am a master of medical Qigong, an art developed in ancient China to move energy I am also a Hawaiian kahuna, or native priest by training, which means that everything that I do to help you comes from a position of unconditional love, first for myself so I can do my job, and outward radiating to include you. So I am particularly happy to share some of my knowledge with everybody who tunes in here. And today, of course, focuses on nitric oxide and how we can acquire most of it to enhance our uh, living experience. With relation to breathing, it's better to breathe through your nose especially for these reasons. Inside our nose here, there are chambers which adds nitric oxide to the air or oxygen that we breathe in. 
When we inhale, the air goes in our nose into these chambers, including the sinuses, and there the air picks up nitric oxide, which is carried through these chambers. The purpose of the chambers is to kind of slow down the inrush of the air so that this uh, nitric oxide molecules can be added and this kind of gives you a sense of serenity or peace which is one of the reasons why we concentrate on our breath during our meditation this is the most basic uh, tenet of meditation is focusing on the breath but in any event is hatch it has much more uh, implication other than just calming yourself down. This nitric oxide goes in and there are little uh, things that kind of like hairs other than the, the, the actual hairs that we see in our uh, nose. The, these uh, small things, hair-like structures in the membranes of our nose which are called cilia, which kind of sweeps in the breath, uh, alters its structure by the addition of nitric oxide before it enters into our brain where this enriched blood, or, or oxygen rather, is added to our bloodstream. What the nitric oxide does is it helps in our circulation, among other things, by expanding the size of the arteries and our circulatory system benefits from that. When it expands or relaxes the lining of our blood vessels, this causes them to expand and allow more blood to flow through. Now, this nitric oxide so helps us to become more relaxed, helps our blood vessels to open wider by relaxation, and allows more blood to flow through easily, uh, relatively more unimpeded, and goes to heal every cell of our body. Now, if you breathe in a shallow way, like just the upper chambers of your lungs being used, this would be similar to, let's say, a car engine being revved or idling at a very fast pace at a stoplight, for example, burning up your motor so it would die sooner than it should be. Uh, last. It's the same thing with our lungs. As we breathe, we should try to breathe slowly and fully, like expanding a big balloon as much as possible and then deflating it, inhaling slowly and fully, by fully meaning when you inhale real deep, your stomach should kind of bulge out a little. And also, when you exhale, it should go all the way back. Try as much as possible for your navel to get close <laughs> to your backbone. It's proven that the most significant marker or sign or prediction of longevity is in the health of your lungs and the pulmonary efficiency of your body. In other words, how well your lungs function and enrich our bloodstream with larger amounts of oxygen and nitric oxide instead of one would think how healthy your heart is. Obviously, the more healthy your lungs are, the healthier your heart should be. So do practice 
deep breathing to store up your、uh, nitric oxide. I was、uh, <laughs> talking about this with a friend of mine on, on video, and his son、uh, happens to、uh, breathe, he's a mouth breather. And my friend said, Oh, wow, what you're telling me is very interesting. And my son snores a lot and he sleeps with his mouth wide open. And I thought, In a way, this is him talking. He thought his son was getting more air. Some of us, when we're exercising, we try to breathe <gasps> like that. Or if we're running and maybe overexerting ourselves, we breathe through our nose. According to most reliable sources, including respectable studies made in places like Stanford and Harvard, it is always best to inhale through your nostrils instead of your mouth. So, when I was talking to my friend,、uh, he called his son over, I motioned him、uh, out of my sight, we were talking on video. And then he swung the camera <laughs> to his son, the snorer. <laughs> And my friend had、uh, cut off a big piece of masking tape and taped it over his son's mouth like this. <laughs> I, I would not recommend uh, such a uh, tactic, <laughs> a drastic tactic myself. I have been told that I snore from time to time and missing out on、uh, getting my nitric oxide from my nostrils、uh, while I'm snoring. <laughs> But unlike my friend who used duct. Tape on his son, I use something like this. This is an ordinary piece of uh, uh, band aid, like that, just to remind me that I should not sleep like that. So, after a few tries, sometimes I put it like this. I became habituated to breathing through my nose and I no longer used the tape. There is a commercially available、uh, tape for this very purpose, so this is not an entirely crazy idea that I concocted.、Uh, these strips come like that and they are taped over. You can look it up on Google. Uh, mouth breathing tapes or something, and after a while, you can you 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 might be used to it and you can remove the tape. I myself need to use it from time to time when I forget, and maybe a week goes by and I my muscles、uh, forgot to、uh, keep my jaws closed or my lips closed, and I suddenly wake up, I'm breathing. Through my mouth, and I would put on one of these band aids、uh, to retrain myself for a few nights, then I stop. <laughs> for those of you with a sleeping partner, maybe <laughs> there is a better solution. Just tell your partner when you are snoring <laughs> to just elbow you like that. Hey, <laughs> that's bad for you. <laughs> But in any event,、uh, be mindful of your breathing. You get more nitric oxide, which is excellent for everybody's health. The other way to acquire、uh, lots of nitric oxide is through、uh, healthy nutrition, especially eating、uh, green leafy vegetables, which have a lot of nitrates. This is the good nitrates that's balanced with a lot of vitamin C、uh, so that they don't do anything bad to our bodies. And such veggies would include 
uh, spinach, uh, cauliflower, uh, things like uh, Swiss chard, and in, in my particular case, I like uh, beets. I get beets and I throw it in my uh, blender and I drink that to help my uh, circulation and to also lower my blood pressure which can run uh, a little bit on the high side from time to time. Uh, drinking uh, these things like uh, smoothies made with uh, spinach, uh, Swiss chard, lettuce, cabbage and beets helps me to boost my nitric oxide which makes me more healthy. This you should be mindful uh, not to eat things that are treated with uh, a different kind of nitrates which does not have a counterbalancing element such as vitamin C and these nitrates are found in things like uh, cold cuts bacon and other uh, processed meats. Uh, studies have shown that the use of nitrates in such cases uh, can lead to bad health effects. In any event, uh, keep in mind that, oh, here's one interesting thing that I just remembered. In uh, uh, lung transplants, it's proven that those who receive a larger pair of lungs become more healthy. And those that receive a pair of lungs smaller than the ones that they lost wind up with a shorter lifespan, all other factors being equal. So please be mindful of your breath, breathe deeply, try not to breathe too much through your mouth, breathe through your nose, in and out should always be through your nose because of the protective uh, mechanisms that are present inside here. Breathing through your nose, even if they are kind of blocked, try the best you can. You can also try to breathe through one nostril, then the other. This is a very well-known yogic technique. This will help to force the airways to open or relax and loosen up more so you can receive air more readily through your nasal passages. Okay, so that's our physiological uh, lesson for today. Keeping in mind that everything is uh, related. Our spiritual well-being is related to our uh, physical well-being. Without a healthy body, we can't really meditate or even develop spiritually. So thank you very much for that. We'll go now to our traditional uh, meditation. And in uh, this segment of our time, I'm going to ask you to just relax and breathe steadily primarily, if not exclusively, through your mouth. In doing so, you will become more relaxed and able to implement the messages that I will be uh, giving to you through the sound of my voice. Oh, incidentally, the background that you hear of Aum or Aum is my voice uh, previously, I had uh, used as a background uh, tracks used by other people, but recently I decided why don't I just use my own voice. <laughs> so, while you listen, even right now, in the background is myself chanting Om, which really should be sounded as Aum. So, as you look at me now, we are communicating through these little light particles known as biophotons. You may not be able to see them, but the majority of people, 
would be able to see things change through these ramped up myophotons that I'm sending out through my uh, facial area and in particular through my third eye. As you watch, please observe carefully what you are seeing, what you are feeling, even if they are very subtle. By acknowledging through your observation the changes in my countenance or the emitting of light particles from me, you will slide more deeply into the healing zone. Likewise, with observing and acknowledging physical sensations that you experience, such as tingling, maybe some muscle tremors, possibly even pain in certain parts of your body, and little sensations that might feel like mild electrical current running through your body. The more you observe and acknowledge these sensations and even visuals with your eyes closed even, the more benefit you will receive from the healing that you incidentally generate for yourself. I'm here mostly to help you along on your healing journey. So please continue to observe here. Even if my eyes close, you keep yours open. I am full of energy. I am full of energy. I am free of tiredness. I am free of tiredness. When I am tired, I have a rest for a while. When I am tired, I have a rest for a while. I am very healthy. I am very healthy. I am never tired. I am never tired. But when I am, I do take a rest. I am never tired, but when I am, I do take a rest. I always wake up feeling very refreshed. I always wake up feeling very refreshed. I am always making sure to eat the right foods. I am always making sure to eat the right foods. It's easy for me to get enough sleep every night. 
It's easy for me to get enough sleep every night. I have an abundance of energy. I have an abundance of energy. I just naturally have high levels of motivation. I just naturally have high levels of motivation. I always get at least as many hours of undisturbed sleep as I need. Now, please gently open your eyes. Please gently open your eyes. And you will see that your surroundings look much, much brighter and hopeful. And that you actually feel much better than when we first started. Our celebration service will be starting very shortly, led by our senior minister here at Ohio, the Reverend Scott Olson. This is Master Sio. Thank you. Wonderful to have you here and to have you bless our community. I loved your talk about the nitric oxide. I was wondering for a second if it was nitrous oxide, but then that would take you to a different place, I think. So uh, anyway, I appreciate so much all that you do for Ahia. And I'd like to take this moment to ask the people who have joined you this morning if you would like to contribute a little bit, maybe $5 to Ahia. And you can do that showing up on your screen right now or three different ways that you can do that. The first is to go to ahia.com slash donate. And the second is to text to 616-229-2225, whatever amount that you would like. And you, if you want to put the amount and then CO, S-I-O, uh, then it'll go to Master CO and he'll know that you uh, donated to him. And then uh, last of all, you can always send us a check, and uh, we love to receive checks, and you send it to our mailing address, which is 150 North El Molino Avenue, Pasadena, California, 91101. So however you do that, know that we have truly, truly appreciate it, and that it helps us to keep up uh, all the work that we do, both with Master CEO, our Sunday service, and all the things that we do throughout the week that help support our congregation and beyond. So we truly do appreciate it. 